I was like, so, all right, who are you voting for? I, this is actually what I tell people. They're like, so are you going to vote? And I'm like, actually, I have a felony. I lie. I don't know why I lie. Because I just don't want to get in that conversation. Bruce Lee. Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, I don't need nothing else. Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, that's right. I don't need nothing else. Entertainment. YouTube has 1.5 billion active users, yeah. and they're saying that they're about to get hit with an influx of an additional billion users as the rest of the world gets high speed internet yeah. on their phones. I, so right now in the Latin market, uh, if you, let's say a Latin artist has 100,000 hits in uh, Mexico, million hits in Mexico, right? Yeah. For some reason, it's like a 10 to 1 ratio to America. Mm. So a lot of these Latin artists have like... 50 million hits, but that would be considered like 5 million hits. Mm. It's a weird thing. So, like, everywhere you go, like, your hits actually are different. Yeah. And it, it, that's a weird concept in itself. But a lot of Latin artists right now, they're blowing off just YouTube. Mm. Like, like my buddy Evan, he's a million subscribers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And this guy has 100 million hits on every video. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, if I were to be like, this is his name, you'd be like, I've never heard of him. Right. But on YouTube, he is a monster. Mm. You know, and so I think it's all about finding your fan and then that's how you, you know. And fans are everywhere. Fans are on YouTube, fans are on Twitter, then Reddit, but finding them is like the hard part. Like, mm -hmm. that's the marketing that you have to be a little bit different, you yeah. know, when you do it. So yeah. I think Vince Staples does a good job at that too. Yeah. Like, he'll always drop something and I'm like, it caught my attention. Yeah. You know, or even... Right now, I feel like OT Genesis, you uh -huh. saw those new songs he, he does? I haven't. He remakes, like, pop songs from the 90s, uh -huh. and he sings them, but, like, they're all, like, gang out. Like, they're all gang really? like, lyrics. So he did uh -huh. um, that song Love by Keisha Cole, uh -huh. and he redid it, and he's, like, talking, he has, like, guns on the camera, and it's, like, you know how they do that. They yeah. have, like, their hands over the shoulder, and they're doing yeah. this to the camera. And then he also did uh, A Thousand Miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he did it like all, he's like cripping, crip walking and stuff. And really? going, it was really hilarious. But like, that's genius. It's yeah. like a disruptor. It's, yeah. it's funny. It catches everyone's attention. Millions of hits. Yeah. Now the attention's on him. He can do whatever he wants. Yes. Yeah. So. That's good, man. Um, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to continue infiltrating the space that you're in. Yeah. What do you have coming up? For the rest of the year what yeah. can people expect so i mean I, I would hope that me and frank could drop some solo stuff right okay. now we're working on the uh, social club album that's going to release the first or second week of september we have a tour at the end of the year um i i don't know what this album is going to sound like but i i know what i want like i know with the ratio of like latin songs and um radio songs and bangers that i want it's weird because you know, on our tour, the bangers work. Mm -hmm. But then when you go to, uh, like, a, like, a festival, mm -hmm. they don't really want to hear that. Mm -hmm. They want to hear, like, your radio song. Yep. So it's a weird, you have to have, like, the balance. Yeah, so yeah. we're learning to have that. Um, but, yeah, just new music. Um, I hate that I just burped. Yeah, new music. <laughs> I'm not editing that. I'm at the point right now in my life where I just talk through burps. Like, I'm, I'm old. Dude. I'm like, oh, my like, yeah, so where are we going to go tomorrow, you know? Anyway. Uh, yeah, so new music from us. I, we're really challenging the idea of what kind of videos we want to... I feel like videos have, for us have always been weak. Yeah. And I want to take it to the next level. Okay. Um, so I think we... Last year was really tough for us. So we reevaluated the whole brand and we're going to make some fun changes and bring it kind of back home to what we like. Yep. Because it's really easy to fall into the corporate trap mm -hmm. and have people help you out. But really, it's better when you're like hands-on. Yeah. You know, it just... It is what it is. So. Yeah. Dope, man. Any final thoughts, final words? For yeah, the I mean, young, go young out and vote. Watching? I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Super Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. so is, that, is that tomorrow? <laughs> I think that's oh, tomorrow. my gosh. Yeah, I have no idea. You would tell me, and, and uh, someone was talking about this random candidate, and I'm like, and they would tell me about voting, and his name was Tom or something Tom like that. Tom Sawyer. Is that his name? I think so. Sire. Tom Sawyer. I was like, Tom he Sawyer, isn't out. that the guy? Okay, yeah, so he's like telling me about it, and I let him go, and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. And he felt, he felt so defeated. He was like a grown man. We're at a coffee shop. And he's like, he was like, you shouldn't vote for Trump. And I was like, so, all right, who are you voting for? I, this is actually what I tell people. They're like, so are you going to vote? And I'm like, actually, I have a felony. I lie. I don't know why I lie. Because I just don't want to get in that conversation. So I'm like, I actually have a felony. I vote. And so the guy's like, all right, well, you know, Tom Sawyer, whatever this. I'm like, I just let him finish. I'm like, I have no idea. I was like, you didn't get the hint that I didn't want to talk. And so now I have to continue to listen. And it was a whole thing. Yeah. So this guy just randomly said that to me. And I was like, all right. Like, yeah, so I have a latte. Like, I was like, what's this guy? Who is yes. this guy? Is he, is he the, the dad, the owner of the shop's dad or something? He just started talking to me. 
um, at uh, this place in Long Beach that we just grabbed. Me and my wife grabbed coffee. I was making fun of him. But, yeah, he was laughing. But, yeah, I don't have any final thoughts. I just, I'm happy to be here. Yep. We're going to grab some food. Yes. Um, yeah. I think Appreciate the only reason you, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do more of these is because, I, you know, I feel like the camera adds 50 pounds. And I've got one, two, three, four. I got four cameras on me. It's 200 pounds. <laughs> so, all right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Peace. She say I'm a triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is you tripping for a follow? But all in the air like Showtime and the Apollo. Puffing up your chest, the next thing you know is hollow, but well, hello. I've been swinging like some jello. You got one in the fun guy, he gets some portobello. So I guess I need some grease up on my elbow. Yeah. But now my light turned yellow. And I've been looking for a cheat code. Life don't come in a neat bowl, bringing the receipt home. We